everyone, I'm Ivy from Generation. This is James, our technical engineer. Hi James, could you please introduce our this 3 k smart home security system? Certainly. Yes. This system we have is the vCare Home Security System. Mm -hmm. It's valued at uh, more than $100. Uh, you get an opportunity to win this. Um, we'll go through more details of the device in this video today and give you an introduction for it. But if you want an opportunity to win this product, then you can follow the instructions here and you can enter our giveaway prize door. Yeah. If you want to find more information, you can also check the video description and also you can go to our blog generation to find more giveaway. Okay, so once again, this is the VCare Smart Home Security System. You can find all the details on this on our China Vision webpage. Now let's have a little closer look and see what we get in this package. Obviously we've got our user manual. Take the packing out. We get our control panel here. There's two remote controls for the system with the arm, disarm, home function and SOS buttons on them. We have a uh, medical alert bracelet or medical alarm SOS uh, control here. And we have PIR sensor for the system. There's the brackets and the fitting here. So as you can mount them on the wall. Of course, the power adapter. And we get a humidity and temperature sensor involved in this as well. And lastly, reach into here. We have a door or window sensor that we can pop on the doors or windows just to see if they're opened. And now to an alarm for us. So let's have a little look at the VCare Smart Home Security System and see just how it works. So you'll notice you get a quite a sizable manual here. The first thing you want to do is download the support app here. This application can just be downloaded from scanning the QR code. To save a bit of time, we've already done that. And you can see that you end up with a nice, a nice looking application here. You use this application to set up the entire system. So once you've downloaded and installed the, the application on your Android so when you set up and install this, you want to plug in your power adapter, connect it into your DC connector here, and then you can turn it on. It does have a battery inside, so it can work for a short period of time without actually being connected to your power. So let's close this one back up. Okay. So, once you've got this on, you use your application to link it up to your home Wi-Fi system. Also, enter the telephone number for the SIM card that you put in here, and then you'll get messages when you're out of the system, when you're not on the Wi-Fi, and this will, send, this will send messages to your phone, telling you if uh, one of the sensors has been triggered. So, just turn this on for now. So let's have a look. So we get a number of sensors. You have a door sensor here. This is very easy to install you get some adhesive tape, which is included in the box. Get your adhesive tape, stick it on the back up here, and you can position it either side of the door. So when your door opens, or your window opens, it will trip the alarm. When this trips, you'll get a notification underneath the door here. You can see we have one set up already, that will tell us if that sensor has been activated and then you'll get a little flash here, a little notification. The same is true of the motion detector. When you've got this PIR sensor set up, so you've got a room here, you've got a bracket, so you can mount this on your wall. Operation range about 12 to 15 meters on it. Again, once this is set up on here, you can see on here you've got a motion detection, and we've got our zone 01 alarm, 
So we've scanned this one in, set it up, and you've got your loan. Now you can take out the screw on the back here. We've just loosened it a little bit, and this allows you to swap your battery inside. So you can take this off and swap your battery. You'll need to put a battery in there to get started. After that, we've got this, uh, this medical alarm. So this one comes with a little bracelet, uh, this strap that you can thread through here. You can activate this in one of two ways. So first way that you activate it is you actually push the button here. Alternatively, you can pull this out. So if it's connected to your wrist or connected to uh, your belt, you can pull this if you need to and you'll get an alert. Again, on the application, if you activate this, your SOS here, you'll actually get a notification come up and it will tell you on this medical one here, the little one with the plus, so our medical bracelet. So we can do a quick little test on this one and you'll see what we mean. So, so what we can do here when you have your remote controls is you use that to arm. So once you're turned on and you set your Wi-Fi up, you've got your remote control here, you can arm it, disarm it. You can set the home mode here. So the home mode allows you to set which sensors you want to be activated. So you might want to turn off all the PIR sensors here, but you might want to keep on some of the door sensors or you might want to keep on these medical bracelets or the remote controls active. So, once we arm it, you can see that we can see that it's armed here with that little flashing light on there. And then, if we use our bracelets, we can use this medical one. It'll we'll actually trigger the alarm. So, say for example, if someone falls down the stairs, has an accident at home, they can push this button, and you can be alerted. If you're not at home, you needn't worry because. You can always see the messages and they'll turn up and you'll get a message through on your system here and you'll get a notification of when these have been activated. Let's turn them back on again. Activate the Wi-Fi. So you'll see when you use these to set the different modes on it or if you've tripped on the alarms you'll get a notification under the messages here for what's happened on them and you'll be able to see those. You can set up three users through on here, um, through on the home with different numbers and different groups on them and then different people can see the messages through on there so you can have this application on everyone's phone within the household and they can all see them. You can also set up additional sensors so you can buy extra sensors through and those extra sensors will allow you to add extra PIR sensors through the system. You can add smoke detectors in, you can add um, water temperature, uh, water sensors. So if there's a leak at home or you have a, uh, a pipe burst, you'll get notified of that if you have sensors set up for them. So there's quite a variety that you can do, but this basic pack gives you everything you need to get started and obviously set up and secure your own home. Jim, thanks for the nice displays and the detailed answers. So if you want to ring this WeCare Smart Home Security System, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you and give the message leave a message or the comment below these videos. You will have a chance to ring this WeCare security system. So if you're already a follower of our uh, YouTube videos, then you can leave a comment on this video or below the video and why not add it to your playlist as well as we'll enter you into the contest and then at the end of the month we'll select a winner at random. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.